Hola. Hola. Are you getting ready to head over? Yeah. Okay. I think Dee Dee's already already gone over. Um, everyone else is still here, I believe. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait and see who all might be waking up to go. I just saw Jim Bob. Okay. Yeah, I had to take a quick nap before I could head out. Score. Might as well take my bolt off, I guess, because I probably won't be able to have it on during all this. No, I mean, I'm not sure. I've not been to another funeral here, actually. This will be my first one. God, you're as horrible as you did. There's Jim Bob. Oh, are you waiting for everyone else, or do you want to head that way? No, I'm yeah. happy to head up. I'm thinking the same. Yeah. All right. Are you? That could be dangerous. 
Hang on here, <laughs> let me uh, go ahead and mark it just so I don't get lost up on the plateau. Okay, here we go. that you employed Maisie. I did. Oh, I really like her. Yeah, she's a little sweetheart. Yeah. The spicy too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> How are you finding the horse? Oh, uh, not too bad. I'm still not used to the big chonky look, but uh, I'm yeah, getting it's there. Different. Yeah. I've had yeah, Arabian nice, since the start, specifically the black one, so it's taken some getting used to. I still haven't heard back from that friend of Jim Bob's yet on when he's going to be ready to try to do the breeding. Okay. But uh, hopefully here soon. Yep. Is there a chance you'll be around this evening after the storm? Um. Uh, yeah, should be. Yeah. All right. I'm going to see if I can get a hold of him and see if we can maybe try for this evening if you're up for it. Yeah. No problem. <clears throat> Because I think he's been a little unsure about trying to get a hold of you because uh, he'd been told you were going to be taking a break for a bit. And he didn't want to interrupt right, that. Yeah. Um, yeah. I kind of uh, sort of had a few days where I was uh, kind of not sure what was going on, but. Yeah. I've been back the last couple of days pretty much, so. All right, yeah, I'll try getting a hold of him and see if we can get things rolling then. Because both of them are definitely of age at this point. Yeah. Awesome. All right, this should be our hill to go up here, I think.
I just got yelled at that I have a telegram. Oops, sorry, hon. Uh, oh, you think that could be him? I don't know. Oh, there it is. I'm like, I know we're close to it here. Woohoo, we might want to find a different hill to go down. There we go, this way. <laughs> this looks much safer. Hola. Hola. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of that over here. Just so she doesn't go out. What? Raven, you knew you knew Ooh. Caesar, right? Kinda. Okay, Not real well. So, why? Well, his his spot's just over here. Oh. Okay. Yeah, he's up here too. He spots a raid the hero. Good spot, eh? Not bad. Yeah, I think this is where they used to have the cannons. Where he used to set up the cannons during one of their wars. Ah, uh, okay. That was one of his favorite spots. If there's headstones, I don't see them, though. Well, there was, it was here the day of, but it's since been, you know, but okay. it is here. Generally, this, this is the spot. Gotcha. Yup. Definitely not a bad spot. Not a bad spot at all. That's a flicker, you're not. Alright, I guess <laughs> we're gonna go. Like, this is gonna be a somber, but somehow uproariously hilarious. Because, you know, it's Fergus. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. That's hot. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> Thank you. Are we standing anywhere special today, boys and girls? I'm not sure. Okay. I'll wait and see. Oh, no fucking shot. Oh, shit. Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. Okay, I'm all for this. I think Fergus would have wanted it to be this way, too. If we told him cannons, he would have been, fuck yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> be like, fuck yeah. Yes! Yes! I feel like in his words, it'd be like, what the fuck took so long? <laughs> an, ex an explosive uh, <clears throat> set off. I see. I hope it's pointing the right way. Okay, I'm not going to question her on that one. Hola! Oh. He's moving around, it looks like it's backwards. <laughs> Well, the question is, are we shoving Fergus into the cannon and firing him out of it? Oh that's, my god! It's 100% what I would do. Yes! Fergie, you shall spread across Mexico. There you go! Just chunk by chunk. Yeah, we just have to, you know, cremate and then make him into a cannon. Yeah, chunk by chunk. Chunk by chunk. Yeah, we just have to, you know, cremate and then make him into a cannonball. It's fine. Some say that's why the poppy is all right. I'm on it. We'll see. <laughs> <laughs> One <laughs> final flight. One final flight off of the side of Presidio from a cannon. Oh, <laughs> the difference between a cannon and a fucking hand. 
Or we could shoot, shoot at the horse that killed him. Okay. Why not both? You Use the cannonball no to shoot the horse. Puta soldados. <laughs> <laughs> Fall in. Parade formation in front of the fucking scaffolding. Are you blind? Yes, I am. At least in one eye. Closer still. <laughs> there we go. And get in proper formation, huh? I can hear him, but I can't see him. I think he's yelling. Around the corner there, I think. Oh. Uh, and he's yelling. Yep. There he is. He's up there. He's up on the thing in my jiggy. His uniform looks so nice. Who's the mom's? Yes. Why is Reeves still standing over there? Should, should we tell him that they're in their head? <laughs> I'm thinking that's just what, what the she's fuck thinking. Are you doing, brother? Oh, your horses. Which balcony? Uh, follow me. Okay, this one? Up here. I mean, there's so many of them around here. I think right here, or maybe over the way that I'm facing. I'd really don't know, but I let's just do right here for now. Yeah, yep. this is fine. We'll figure we'll it out from here. We'll be able to hear stuff from here anyways. Uh oh. I wonder if he's gonna do a Ricardo test. Can you guys, uh, can you guys see the coffin from up there? I think so. Shit. No. Okay, well, it's totally there, okay? <laughs> okay. Grandfather. I'm sorry. Oh shit, okay. Alright, we'll give it just three to five more minutes for any uh, potential stragglers. Hey, grandfather. Hold that grandfather. No, I, know. I got stuck on the train. Si, senor. Oh, you made it in time. In the meantime, Teniendes, we're paying respect to the dead. Make sure all the uniforms are clean. Mm. 
That was an order, not a, not a suggestion, by the way. Yeah, you guys better clean your uniforms, too. I'm on it. Lieutenant Dusk, where is your hat? I need to get it from Dan. Why haven't you? I didn't want to get my uniform dirty, sir. Muy bien. Ladies and gentlemen, esteemed guests, friends and family, today we gather, as we know, today as we gather under this, uh, the solemn veil of grief, we come together to honor the remarkable life of Fergus Buchanan, a man whose presence illuminated our lives like a guiding star. Fergus was not only a masterful horse trainer, but also a beacon of patriotism, whose love for Mexico knew no bounds. Fergus possessed a rare gift, the ability to understand the language of horses, to whisper the words of reassurance and encouragement that resonated deep within their noble souls. His bond with these magnific magnificent creatures was not, merely a professional, uh, was not merely professional, but profoundly spiritual. Through his skillful hands and compassionate heart, he transformed wild spirits into loyal companions forging connections that transcended, uh, transcended the barriers of species. <clears throat> Yet Fergus was more than just a horse trainer. He was a fervent patriot, his heart overflowing with love for his beloved Mako. He carried the colors of his homeland with pride, honoring its rich heritage and embracing its vibrant culture. His spirit was woven into the fabric of Mako and his unwavering devotion to its people and tradition inspired all who had the privilege of knowing him including myself. In the realm of horsemanship, Fergus was a legend, a maestro, whose name will be whispered in reverence for generations to come. His legacy lives, his legacy lives on in the, merciful, you know, in the graceful movements of the horses he trained, in the echoes of his gentle whispers carried to an, on, on the wind. But beyond this professional accomplishment, Fergus Buchanan was a man of immense kindness and integrity. He extended a hand of friendship to all who crossed his path, offering guidance, support, and unwavering loyalty. His generosity knew no bounds, and his genuine smile could brighten and could brighten even the darkest of days, and so could his infectious laughter. As we bid farewell to Fergus today, let us not mourn his passing, but celebrate the extraordinary life he lived. Let us cherish the moments we shared, the, lesson he the lessons he imparted, and the love he so freely gave. Though he may no longer walk among us, his spirit will forever linger in the hearts of those who were, who were touched by his grace. Fergus Buchanan, beloved son of Mako, esteemed horse trainer and patriot, 
May you ride on the winds of eternity, your spirit forever free, your legacy enduring. Regrets, Pakad and Pache, my dear friend, knowing your light will never fade from our lives. Thank you. Major, carry on with the 21 gun salute. Salados, make ready. Don't shoot me while you do it, by the way. Aim into the sky. Aim. Fire. Aim. Fire. Aim. Fire. Shoulder. Arms. Beloved civilians, we will now be transporting Senor Buchanan to his final resting place at the graveyard. Please follow us there and pay your last respects. Gracias. Where did I used to go? <laughs> I don't think shooting's going to do any good at this point, though.
Si, it does. Yes, you should need to move the horse. Or not. It's the only downside about up here the horses run when you call them. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. This is gonna be fun. Oh yeah, he's right at the Jimmy C. Roberts mobile. Alright, muchachos, on me. Grandfather, do you wish to ride with me? I will walk there soon. Okay. Jesus. Help! Fireworks. Are you okay, Sky? Fireworks.
No worries. as a call.
Tell me I didn't miss shit. No, you're in time for the end bits. No, oh, you're good. good. You're good. Oh, we're ready when you are, General. I'm just waiting for you guys. We're gonna aim to rest in here. Let's see. Let's bring him up. Would you two like to uh, do the do the? Ladies point? and gentlemen, if you if you would follow us into the cemetery, where you can say your last goodbyes before we bury him. As we commend this body to the ground, I pray you find solace in the sweet embrace of yours, my dear friend. Dominic, <clears throat> Dominic, Spirito Sunday, Rekreska de Pace. Amen. Would anyone like the chance to speak? <clears throat> Oakley. Yes. Let's see. Go ahead, Gigi. Hey, Oakley. Oh, hold on. I have the, have the letter. Fergus Buchanan. It was a scorching hot summer day when the sun rays kissed our shoulders and left its mark the day I met you. Together our journey has been through thick and thin. Every stumble we had only brought us closer. 
You opened your arms and heart to every single person that came through Chuparrosa and showed nothing less than selfness and kindness to everyone. We worked for a little while at the saloon under Olaf and his crazy wife that tormented the sandy dunes of Mexico, where you stuck by them as best you could, always ready and able to serve the citizens and Mexican army. And as the warmth of Mexico took us in, we made our home. A short while passed, and we worked alongside each other, under Jack, who taught us many things, but most importantly, showed us that you and I were very close. Again, many, many stumbles, many troubles. We worked with Ella, we worked with Lorena, we worked with Peaches and Cassidy. Building a family and a union. You've been my best friend, like a brother. You went to my wedding, you raised my kids, and you were nothing but supportive to me and my family. I could have never asked for anything better to call my brother. I hate that you're gone. It was all too soon. You've worked hard and gone through many things, many troubles. They always try to be there for you just the way that you were there for all of us. I hope you rest well, and I hope you lived a happy life, and I hope you visit us all in our dreams. My dearest friend, Wait, hold on, I have one more thing. Anyone else would like uh, to speak? Ah, uh, see. Si. The word is sure of no. When I arrived in Mexico with Cassidy, I was met with a hundred friendly faces. Yours was one of them, Fergus. I have never felt such a sense of home and pride to be in such a community. I, I, I wish there was more time. I've seen a lot of friends of mine pass away. And I hope you don't mind, Fergus, if I could read this poem to you. But I'm sure everyone else here would appreciate it. Do not stand at my grave and weep. I am not there. I do not sleep. I am a thousand winds that blow. I am the diamond glints on snow. I am the sunlight on rampant grain. I am the gentle autumn rain. When you awaken in the morning's hush, I am the swift uplifting rush of quiet birds in circled flight. I am the soft stars that shine at night. So do not stand at my grave and cry. I am not there. I did not die. Amen. 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 The word is free. Anyone who'd like to offer some words to Fergus before we put him to rest, go ahead. Go ahead, Lucy. Very clearly, uh, my Tio Fergus had a huge impact upon all of us. 
but sometimes I wonder if the reason why I joined the Federales might have started with him. But before I was even born, my sister and I, he went around all of the Federales and started a uh, a baby fund for it, uh, for us from them. Eventually, I learned there is a Federale hat eventually placed on my head once I came into this world. And I feel like with his teachings of that the Federales were always here for all of us and always protected us and kept, you know, kept our, all of our families safe. I would forever be grateful for all that he has done for all of us, for my family, for the army, for just the entirety of Mexico. And undoubtedly, this would leave a huge hole in all of our hearts. I will forever miss you, Tio. But gracias for everything you've given us. Anyone else would like to say a few words? I would like to say something. Go right ahead, Emil. Fergus, I never knew you that long. I think I only met you once, but it's the first meeting that always brings a good impact on a good relationship between friends, coming friends, whatever it might be. If I knew you back in Norway, I bet you we would have the time of our life with all the fun stuff we could do together. But from everything I heard from my sister Didi and all of your friends, is that you're one heck of a guy. So, until we see each other again, my friend, sleep well, and may your brightest light shine over us in the darkest times. Thank you so much, my friend. And one final thing before I... This would definitely give you a little extra head protection up there. <laughs> Anyone else? I'd like to say a few words. Let's see, go ahead. Fergus was one of my most cherished friends who continually brought warmth and joy into my life. One of my favorite memories of him was his remarkable gift for laughter. His infectious laugh had a way of brightening even my darkest days and those around him. Whenever I think of him, I'm reminded of the countless moments we shared filled with his unique brand of humor and unwavering positivity. He had a rare ability to uplift those around him and create a sense of camaraderie wherever he went. His passing le will leave a void forever in my heart that cannot be filled, but he will not be forgotten by the memories that we shared. Gosh, yes. Anyone else? Shimona, bye bye. Fergus, mi amigo, mi hermano, 
I've known you ever since I was but a snot-nosed recruit. You've taught me a great deal about life, what it means to be a man, and more importantly, what it means to be a good man. I will forever cherish the memories we've made together. I will forever miss your infectious laugh and your, your good humor. And I yearn for the day when we meet again and we can share another cerveza or some tequila in the presence of Jesus, Cesar Vangelo, and others that we have lost along the way. I will always love and cherish you and the memories we have. Rest in peace, my friend. Gracias, mi hermano. Now, if there's no one who has anything more to say, I would like you to invite you all to Chuparosa, where drinks will be on the army. That is all. Gracias for coming, mi amigos. Soldados, commit our amigo to the earth. Ramon, Sean, there should be a pair of shovels at the wall. Go ahead and bury him. Oh, you don't see my things? Oh, no. Let's go. Can you see this now? See. <clears throat>
Muy bien. <coughs> like I said, I'd like to invite you all up to Chuborosa, but there will be a drink on the army tab. Gracias all for coming. And gracias Fergus for the extraordinary life he lived. That is all. Oh, please. Howdy, howdy. Yo. Sorry, sorry. I made it. Okay. Last few minutes of it. I'm sorry. Jesus. Yep, no problem. Trooper, so I have a special tab for these things. Mm. Okay. Yeah. Alright everyone, I uh, paused the ads as long as I could. You know when the why, next yeah. one pops up, we're gonna have to have it. So hopefully it'll pop up while we're in riding mode or something. Fucking glorious. I may I'll have to get home. him to do it if he comes back to Okay, grandfather. If he comes to Chupa, I'm definitely gonna have him do it for you. Will you, you be there for a while? It's, I most likely will. I have no intention to go anywhere else for a while. Alright. Um, going to partake with a drink. I will be at home. That is where I will be found. This I'll be along shortly. Country. 